So, the first brand or the first identity that I advocate for Malaysian youths are actually to realize competition is now intense, it is globalized, and everything is now available mostly for free. You know, there was a quote by a prominent businessman, couldn't recall his name at this moment, but he said, if you were to produce music and if you were to, if, if you are prepared to put it online, you better be prepared to make sure that it's free. Because people is going to download it, they're going to pirate it, you know. It, it's a fact of life, you know, download machines, big torrent, big comment. So about being creative and being innovative is how do you develop a business model behind that and still make it sustainable. Now, realize this, when we know that competition is intense and the competition is no longer limited to local, it's now global, we should start thinking of our brand as not a local contributor, but a global contributor. How do we do that? Number one, I propose is collaborations across borders, people and cultures. As Malaysians, when I was in New Zealand furthering my studies, we were very much appreciated because of our understanding of our different cultures and mingling together with different races here. It's our distinct advantage, and I believe it's our brand that we can carry to a global stage and tell them we are better than the global competition because we are groomed and we are exposed to different cultures and we have come to appreciate them. What else? Ambitions. I believe Malaysians do have ambitions, but let's ask yourself, how far are your ambitions? Are you going to create the next big thing in Malaysia? Or are you going to surpass everything else and create the next big brand in the world? And this is where I advocate, where we need to have an identity, a community, and we need to delete the inferiority complex. What do I mean by identity? Number one, as I've just related to you, we are strong because we are looked upon as an innovative society because we're exposed to different people, different cultures, and we have We've been talking to people from all sorts of walks of life and from all different geographical locations. Forming a community of different blend of mix of taste in Malaysia itself. So why not bring this to a global level? If we can understand cultures locally, why not understand cultures globally? And another thing that I would advocate for is to actually emulate success. What I find is a lot of Malaysians, you have to realize, with fast the internet, we are now gaining access to free information anywhere around the world. The keyword, Google. How do you search for something? Google. Just type in something in your Google search bar. Believe me, you will learn, you will benchmark the best cases or the best researchers that you've ever seen. But what's more important is as Malaysians, our design, we should emulate, adapt, or copy is fine, success stories from around the world, especially those from developed countries. My next step would be bringing the local global. Now how do we do this? Social media application. Remember, it's a platform for you to express yourself. It's a platform for you to share. At the same time, it's a platform for you to raise support. It is marvelous what you can do with a Facebook group now. You can fundraise, you can gather volunteers in your Facebook group, and you can mobilize an effort which was quite impossible in the ages past. And these are all free. Why aren't you all doing this right now? You could easily bring a Malaysian cause global by opening a Facebook group and making sure that you invite people from other countries getting their ideas all for free. It is quite shocking when you post on Facebook, for example, you said in your wall, I need to do this project. Can anybody recommend me a funding? If your network is wide enough to say an average of 1,000 friends whom you know or you may not know, you'll be shocked at the answers you'll get. And of course, um, I'm not sure if you can see it clearly, but it's a realization that right now, whatever we do, we're in a global, wireless, and borderless world, surrounded by its communities, where we are content-driven, we could co-produce, co-create, co-lead, and co-represent. No longer are we now alone in this small country called Malaysia. We are actually now global. Our geographical location may be small, but our brand and our identity can be global. And of course, taking that first global step, taking that first initiative to actually go out there and compete globally. The internet has provided us with the infrastructures. Do a little bit of research. I know that Malaysian governments do support you as well if you need government assistance. So 
The question you should ask yourself is, why aren't we bringing our local designs, why aren't we bringing our local efforts, our businesses, our NGOs, or our projects to a global stage? It could be a mere recognition, it could be a collaboration to bring our brand name as Malaysian Dukes forward. Now I'm going to share with you a case study. What happened is, in the UK, I came back, the, I came back from the UK two weeks ago, and I was in this uh, global youth summit called One Young World, in which this summit is an example of how social media is being used to actually spread a global message. And it's as easy as going on YouTube, creating a page, and getting followers to view you and asking them to spread it out. So it's how powerful social media is and how powerful you can leverage on it. Um, this was a tweet by our Prime Minister and notice how virally things could get when you get on Twitter. So these are the examples of case studies that you could actually leverage and champion or push your cause abroad. So if you notice, uh, our Prime Minister actually tweeted about the One Young World delegation there. But this is an example of how you can get your cause to be supported. You just need to make them enough noise. Now the last thing I'd like to touch in terms of the design of the Malaysian youth is the responsible opportunist. I believe in order for us to be prepared for the globalization age, we need to actually be an opportunist. We need to actually be alert towards opportunities and also realize that opportunities are abundant. How we can do that is through global volunteerism, volunteer for more projects, get in touch with mentors online and offline, and always keep in mind that we have that capacity to network with people of all platforms and all races. Taking the initiative, be curious, sharing your opinions, asking questions. Remember, this is the age of co-production. It's, no it's no longer the age where we have our own efforts to justify our uh, results. And lastly as well is to ignite the national brand. But we should create among ourselves Malaysian youth. And whenever we go on a global stage, proud to identify ourselves as Malaysians because we are unique. Champion our innovation and uh, lead recognition. So at the end of the day, just to close, as a Malaysian youth right now, I challenge you. What have you done during your youthful age to make a change to your country? What can you do right now to make a change to a person's life? Or you have the capacity to read, write, speak. You have the luxury of Facebook, Twitter, MSN, Google, blogs. What difference can you make to the world? At the end of the day, my application, localization, is bringing a local Malaysian boy or a Malaysian youth to a global stage. Bringing our local efforts to a global recognition. And with that, I thank you very much. <laughs>